Hey lovelies, happy new year 2020. Can you believe it? I certainly can't. <laughs> um, I've been MIA uh, 2019. That was a rough year for me. Um, been sick a lot. Um, my dad passed away in August as well. So um, trying to recover from viral meningitis. Um, it was a hard thing. It took it out of me last year. So I'm back. Um, first of all, I want to say thank you to all the subbies and thank you for the new ones coming on board. Sorry, I haven't been around. I've got a uh, schedule happening, a plan happening of what I want to do this year and it's to give you guys some tutorials and that's what I'm here for. Um, the other thing I'd like to say is I am sending out my prayers and thoughts to all the families affected by the bushfires that are happening here within Australia. Um, my heart goes out to you and your families, uh, to everybody affected, um, not just the people but the animals as well. There's a lot of wildlife that's affected by it, a lot of, you know, pets as well and obviously, you know, humans as well. So thoughts and prayers go out to those um the victims of the fires okay so back again now i have had quite a few requests for different things so bear with me guys it's going to take me a while to get through uh, and get these tutorials done i do work full time so i'm going to do them as fast as i can i know i've had a um quite a few emails asking me to when i create my albums to decorate them on camera as well I thought by me just doing the tutorial of how I construct the video on how I construct the album was probably quicker for you guys. But you want to see decoration, that is fine with me. I can do that. But just bear in mind that's going to take a little bit longer. So you'll get a few consecutive videos. So this first tutorial for the first year, yeah. sorry, for <laughs> first tutorial for 2020 uh, we are going to do the ladies diary box now. I'll leave the link down below We're going to be using the Prima apricot honey now. I've got this collection a while ago and haven't had a chance to use it I've been hanging out to use it and I thought this box is perfect um, So we will create the box Then I still need to make the journal that goes inside of it and then I'll do a tutorial for that as well So bear with me guys as we go along and create this so what you'll need is obviously paper of your choice some double-sided adhesive I use I've started using the stick master double-sided tape it is very it sticks like <laughs> it sticks you can use, um, I use a Sukwang, I use scrapbook.com tape. You could use whatever double-sided tape you like. All I ask of you is when you construct with your chipboard, make sure you use something durable. That would be, um, it helps it to last, I think, if it, you know, stays together. Now, bear in mind too, different climates play havoc on different tapes and i've noticed that with my tapes as well so i'm constantly looking for different tapes that will work within our climate here in australia and to keep things you know still glued together five years down the track so you're going to need that you can use a cutting knife if you're going to cut your chipboard i use the scotch and I believe this is the small size from what I can remember. Um, you'll need a bone folder and I've got my bone pencil as well. You'll need a scoreboard. You'll need a paper trimmer, which I have here. My Fiskars Rotary Precision Paper Trimmer. And I absolutely love that. Um, you probably need uh, some scissors. You know, uh, clean these off. I did film the tutorial, but didn't like it the way that it came out, guys. So I'm going to film it again. Any kind of pick tool, I use my We Are Memory Keepers. It's got the pick tool and then the pick up stick down at the bottom of the other end. 
okay and if you're like me and you eyeball it you'll need a pencil just to mark your lines or you can measure all right so let's get started i've rambled on enough we're gonna do the chip for what the chip for chipboard first so let me just pop these up in my container out of the way but easy to reach so the first part of the video will be construction of the box and then the second part will be putting all the little bits and pieces in okay so first of all you will need let's see uh, chipboard front you'll need two and a half by seven and a quarter so you'll need one piece of that and if i can put the measurements in the description video in the video i will okay um you will need two pieces of two and a quarter by seven and a quarter so that's two pieces and then two pieces of five and three quarters by seven and a quarter that's two pieces of those okay so you will need your insides which let me find here i've got them right next to me okay so you will need one piece at five and three quarters by seven and a quarter now you're going to score these i'm at three and a quarter and one and a half inches you'll need another piece at six and three quarters by seven and a quarter and you'll score at three and a quarter by one and a half then you're going to need uh another piece at six and a quarter by seven and a quarter and score at three quarter inch and one and a half hopefully i said those measurements right now i've cut these straight out off the bat i wanted to get this box out i wanted to edit the video and put it up on youtube so this one's going to be a quick one i'll show you how i decorate it i haven't got any ideas or whatever so i'm flying blind with that side of things usually I have a bit of time when i um decorate it and everything so like i said i'm doing it with you guys um okay so you're going to need those flips then for your little boxes you need a piece at ten and a quarter by five and once again three and a quarter inch by um one and a half but i would more inclined to go one uh no go the same go the same because we're going to have the flaps overlaying the top so ten and a quarter by five score at three and a quarter by one and a half and do it on all three sides now what you will do all of these will be covered up and so you'll have you know all your pieces all i done was cut up to the score line there and then chopped it off there so you've got that full piece taken out okay then i've cut another piece eight and three quarters by four once again three quarter inch and one and a half inch on all three sides okay what i did do as well so get all your bits and pieces cut up it's much easier than you can you know just construct it now what i did do is i covered the backs with my scrapbook.com tape and i think that's the six inch one yeah so that's the big roll you guys don't have to use this i prefer this to cover my chipboard with and then I think this one was a two and a half or two and a quarter one that I got to use these pieces with as well. So they're handy to have. Um, you can use some wet glue in this as well to pin your papers down or whatever. And I love using my art glitter glue. And I have Stampin' Dimensionals, which I use. You can use any dimensionals, guys. It's whatever you've got on hand. Okay alrighty so then i've also got my papers oh, my card stock cut out at these are my base for underneath so mine are cut eight and a half and i've left them by 12 because i'll be chopping it off afterwards and then i think this lot i cut at seven and a quarter just to fit on the inside of it so as we go along i'll show you what i mean all right so what i will do is flip these over oh and i'm using american crafts cardstock as well so i'm just going to lay the tape down here and i'll use my scissors 
Uh, a bit awkward. To lay these down. Okay. Oh, I okay. So what I'm going to do with this is you'll have a back piece and you'll have a front piece. So what I want to do is kind of lay it out. Um, the front piece, the two and a half at seven and a quarter, that has to go at the top. Okay. So hopefully I'm getting all this in camera view, guys. I'm not 100% sure because of the new camera setup. Yep, it looks great. Alrighty. So I've got the two and a half... Then I have, I can probably move that down here and then move that down. I know I've got a lot of wasted space, but I'm kind of bearing in mind where my join is because if I don't join it right, I'm going to have not a very clean edge. That will rip up from the back and I don't want that. So I usually leave probably about half an inch around the edges. Um, you guys can leave whatever you choose to leave. I'm not sure if that's going to be... I might have to move these over a bit. Okay, so... And I'll cut them off at the edge here and this side as well. So that's how I'm going to lay them out. Like I said, you guys can lay them out whichever way you want to. So I'm going to start off with my two and a half by seven and a quarter piece. That is the front of the box. Oh, and I forgot to mention, guys, too, you'll need magnets. Oh, I can't find my other pack. Um, I use... Oh, <laughs> they're all paper clips on there. I use... Um, basic grey magnets. You can use whatever magnets you like um, as long as they're strong enough to hold over time. Okay, so I'm going to take this backing off and I find it much easier to use the tapes like this on the back of my chipboard. Okay, so I'm just going to try and line that up and try and get it as straight as possible if I can. Without getting my head in the camera. Oh, that didn't let me. Sorry, guys. I'm going to try and do it. And that can go. I don't know. It kind of looks wonky. I'm trying to get it so that it's a little bit straight. Oh, that looks all right. Okay, so I'm going to grab the next piece. And lay that down. So I hope everybody's had a good New Year. Sorry, guys, I'm going to turn this around this way. So I'm going in with my two and a quarter piece now. Um, I hope you've got a, yeah, two and a quarter by seven and a quarter piece. Hope you guys had a great year. A great year. Great start to the year. You can tell mine's not off to a good start. <laughs> Cannot talk. Now, what you want to do is leave a little valley in between because obviously you don't want the chipboard to butt each other. Otherwise, it's going to crack your cardstock. Now, I'm using American Crafts. I usually, with my albums or boxes, I usually like to use uh, smooth cardstock, but I didn't have any. This is all I had. And this is the textured one. So you've got to work with what you've got, right? So now I'm going to come in with the back, pa uh, the back panel. And that is the five and three quarter by seven and a quarter piece. Oh boy, I didn't think I could get this off. Sorry guys, I'm trying to... There we go. and leave as much as we can. Move 
that piece out the way and somehow along the way I've gotten crooked but that's all good that's all good <laughs> so I'm going to turn it around the opposite way and then we're going to hopefully this isn't going to confuse you guys then we're going to put the second piece that we cut up and that was the two and a quarter by seven and a quarter so what I would recommend is cut these pieces up guys make sure you watch the uh, video in its entirety or any video that I create because you know what I'm human I get the measurements wrong first off the bat even though they're my creations I still get them wrong generally when I do my um whatever I create my albums or whatever I don't kind of use measurements I visualize it in my head get my paper cut it out you know and done then I've got to go back and do the measurements I know it's double handling sort of thing but that's the way that I've always worked that's the way that I've always worked um so this is like I already had the measurements for this so it kind of made it easier because I'd already made the box and then I went back and done the measurements. So I haven't got the box to show you, but you will see it in the video and um, in the previous or the linked video. And um, obviously you'll see it when you guys create it yourselves as well. So this is a good gift to give. I'm not too fussed about it at the moment because I am not giving it as a gift. I'm not giving it away. It's just going to go on my display. So I'm quite happy about that. Um, you would obviously take more care if you were to give it as a gift. So I'm just cutting the edges off a little bit um, just so that I've got even amount of border around. Now this comes together pretty easy. You can knock out a few of these pretty easily okay then what I will do is put my tape around there first before I actually uh, what do you call it before I actually um, cut the corners or miter the corners whichever way you want to say it where's my home folder gone huh Oh, there it is, right in front of me. Okay. I'm so excited to be back, guys. Oh, I tell you what. I tell you what. So, what's everybody been up to? I know in a lot of places it's snowing in the States and... Here we're having heat, obviously with all the bushfires, it's just, can't get over it, you know. I mean, even the smoke had travelled over all the way to New Zealand. That's just, goes to show how intense it is, how intense the, the fires and the smoke are. Anyway, can't wait to see new collections coming out this year. If there's any, cannot wait. So I've done that. I'm just going to run my tape. Uh, yeah, maybe not. Uh, do I want to go across there? Yeah, maybe we can go across. I'm just going to go across all the way, guys. Now, uh, the other thing is, guys, whichever way you decide to create this, no right or wrong way, according to me, just do the best you can. That's all we can do. Remember, this is a man-made item. It's not a handmade item. It's not a machine made where it's cut perfectly. I give you the measurements that I go by with my paper trimmer. Bear in mind, guys, that all paper trimmers are not equal. You could get five paper trimmers of the same brand and they're still a little off. So, you know, you, you guys will know your own paper trimmers and um, 
work with that and if you have to adjust your measurements then just adjust um yeah so hopefully alrighty I'll get that going now you guys probably don't want to see all of this so I'll probably speed this up and I've got to get it done but I will speed it up for you guys so if I can remember how to do it I'm going to use Phil Mora editing software and hopefully <laughs> bear with me guys bear with me <laughs> oh. So, oh, I cannot believe I've been scrapbooking for so long. Man, where did all these years go for, uh, go to? I mean, I haven't been on YouTube for that long. Probably about seven years, eight years. This will be my eighth year. Um, but I've been teaching crafting for like 25 years. So, kind of done well. Alrighty, and you know what? At the end of the day, there's always new things to learn out there. Always new things. It doesn't matter what profession you're in, or you know, crafting, or whatever. There's life is all one big learning curve. I'm just gonna miter my corners. Make sure you guys don't cut right up to the chipboard. I believe an eighth of an inch. Hopefully I'm in frame, guys. I really, like I said, it's a bit... Alrighty. So I'm trying to knock these videos out of the ballpark. Now, I'm just going to do my longer layers first. I'm going to peel that off. And peel the inside. Now I want to take off and remove that back a bit. So I'm just removing the tape. Well, not completely. I'm just pulling back on that so it doesn't get caught up on anything when I'm folding it over. Hopefully. That should be alright. There we go. I'm just going to fold it. Now, use medium uh, chipboard, guys. Medium weight on this project. Do not use heavy weight. I'm using lightweight. You can double up on it if you use lightweight. Um, you'll just need to cut extra pieces out. I'm only using one. And my battery is running low. Um, I'm only using one piece of chipboard only because I'm using this for display purposes. I'm not really using it for anything else. And okay. Sorry, guys, I am rushing through this. I'm going to pull everything off now on all the sides. Let's do the other side. Now my camera battery is going to go flat. So I'm going to do this. Okay. What you want is your bone folder and burnish it down. All right. So I'm going to get the edges in there. The edge in there. And then fold that over. Okay. So you'll see I've gone along and folded over all sides. Well, hopefully you can see in the camera view. There we go. Okay, guys, I need to charge my battery and I'll be back with the next lot. Okay. Okay. So what I've done is I've taken the tape off the chipboard on the inside. I put tape on my cardstock. So I'm going to... What's that is? Just going to lay this down 
on top. And be very careful with this. If you get it over, or and uh, you'll just have to trim it. Um, but I did do it so that it does um, measure the same height. Sorry, guys. I don't want to get my head in the frame. Uh, same height as the um, the chipboard as well. So there's that piece. And then I'll put on the other piece as well. Oh, boy. I'm all over the place, guys. Bear with me with this video. Um, first one coming back. So I'm a bit... Ugh. Cut that a bit short, but that's fine. Okay, there we go. All right. So that's that. And what you want to do is go along and gently fold it on the score lines. You can run your bone folder in the creases. Be very careful because you might actually cut your paper as well. So I'm going to give that a good burnish. Make sure everything's sitting flat tack. And we should be pretty set. Make sure that's burnished in the creases. Make sure that's taped down. You want to make sure everything is completely taped down. You don't want anything lifting up. Okay. Yeah. Alrighty. So you've got your box and this is what it's going to look like. Okay. So you'll notice that it doesn't sit, well it does sit across here like that. And what you'll need to do is put your magnets in there to hold it together. Okay. So put your magnets on before you actually put your designer paper on guys. All right, so I'm going to leave it here. Then I'll do a part two video of us constructing the inside and covering it as well. Alrighty. Okay, see you soon, guys. Bye.